Hi guys, Sci-Fi Recapped here. Before we start, warning. Spoilers ahead. Today, I'm gonna explain a science fiction movie from Fringe Series Seasons 4, called Forced Perspective. For your information, this is an anthology series, so the plot has no correlation with the previous episode. The movie begins with a teenage girl named Emily Malam who is drawing across the street of Boston. She suddenly gets dizzy and immediately draws a sketch of an unknown person in her sketchbook. After she finishes the drawing, she chases after the man who is walking across the street with his co-worker and hands him the drawing. They walk past a construction site where a steel beam falls from the crane and impales him in the chest. The woman opens the sketch from Emily and is very shocked as it somehow accurately predicts the death of the man. One of the officers, Lincoln, calls Detective Olivia and informs her about the incident. She later orders him to collect all the surveillance from the area to identify the girl. Meanwhile, Olivia returns home and turns out that his father, Jim Malum, is aware of her gifted ability and has been moving his family around the country to keep the secret from the public. The next day, Lincoln successfully identifies the girl and tracks her move, but somehow still cannot figure out where she lives. Back to Emily, she is riding on a bus when she suddenly gets a vision again and sketches one of the passengers, but the man quickly gets off the bus. Emily tries to follow him, hoping that she can give the sketch to him as a warning, but the man disappears from her sight. After going door to door, the agents finally arrive at Malam's home and show Jim Emily's picture, but Jim and the other family members lie to them, claiming that they don't know her. Just after the agents leave the building, they coincidentally meet Emily on the street and start asking questions regarding his ability to predict someone's death, but the enraged father runs out of the building and drags Emily away from them. Jim reveals that they live as nomads to avoid a corporation called Massive Dynamic that tries to kidnap her daughter and study her ability. Olivia gives Jim her business card, offering to help them if the corporation threatens them again. Afterward, Olivia confronts the executive director of Massive Dynamic named Nina Sharp and questions him about Emily. She admits that the company has put a huge interest in her. Moments later, the agent receives a call from Emily, who wants to meet her face to face. Olivia finds Emily at a nearby lakeside where the gifted girl shows her the sketch that she drew on the bus earlier. The sketch visualizes a pile of dead bodies and building debris around the bodies. Olivia brings the girl to a lab where Emily reveals her ability. She gets the vision, to be exact, images of someone's death in her mind when she sees a nearby person who is about to die. She continues that she always tries to prevent the incident from happening, but the visions always come true. She is also afraid that the massacre is going to happen. The agents immediately attempt to identify the man on the bus, who turns out to be Albert Duncan. Olivia also invites Jim to come over to the lab. To get a broader view about the incident in the sketch, Lincoln suggests Walter hypnotize Emily, allowing her to recall the vision. In her mind, Emily is brought back to the bus. She walks out of the bus and is terrified when she encounters a lot of people, who are frozen in time, trying to run away from an explosion. Unfortunately, some of them are dead just as depicted in the sketch. As she walks through them, she finds a sign and informs everyone in the lab. She also manages to spot Duncan's dead body, who is holding a detonator. One of the guys recognizes the sign and informs Olivia that the incident will take place in the courthouse. After that, Jim and Emily return home where the father spots the same black van he saw in the previous house and tells his daughter to pack her bag. Realizing that Duncan is going to blow up the courthouse, bomb squad is immediately deployed. Meanwhile, Duncan is present at the courthouse and demands to meet Judge O'Malley. As everyone is evacuated, the bomb squad discovers a set of bombs in the parking lot. However, it will take too long for them to disarm the bomb, so Peter gets the idea to block the specific radio frequency, which will prevent the detonator from working. Back to Duncan, he eventually meets the judge, who ruled against Duncan in a child custody case, and accuses him for ruining his life. He presses the detonator, but nothing happens. A few moments later, the FBI, including Olivia, arrives and surrounds Duncan. He reveals that he has backup bombs wrapped in his body, but Olivia manages to calm him down and Duncan eventually withdraws his intention to blow himself up. Duncan is then arrested and everyone is safe. Back at the house, Emily disappears and Jim thinks she has been kidnapped. However, the agents confirm that the black van is just a dry cleaning van. Olivia and Lincoln find the girl at the lakeside, where Emily sits in the cold. Olivia notices the sketch beside Emily, showing Emily with her dad sitting on the same bench. At the same time, Jim arrives and sits beside her daughter with Olivia watching them, just as depicted. The father embraces Emily as she dies from a stroke that resulted from the overload of electrical activity in her brain. Subscribe to watch more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out, 
Thank you for watching.